Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 14th GIMP tutorial. Now today, I'm going to be talking about the Scissors Select Tool. Now, the Scissors Select Tool is right here, it looks like a pair of scissors, and it's um, almost the same as the Free Select Tool, except it has edge detection. Now, this edge detection is uh, not perfect, obviously, but um, it's going to uh, work somewhat. So anyway, use it like you would the free select tool. So if I just click all the way down here, um, it's going to like um, look like a straight line for a second, but then it's going to get like really squiggly and it's going to go around this light switch and it's also going to go around the shadows. Now, the reason it's going around the shadows is because GIMP um, sees this edge as uh, areas of high contrast. Now, um, Contrast just means like the difference between two things. Um, anyway, so the contrast between this wall, which is almost pure white, and um, and this shadow, which is like probably pure black, is very high. Now it's actually higher than this um, dark tan and the shadow. So that's the reason why it went around um, around the shadow. It's just because it had higher contrast. So um there. So anyway, um, so let's say you accidentally like mess up and you click over here. Um, it's not the end of the world. So anyway, um, but there's one thing you can't actually move these um control nodes after you've placed them. You have to complete what is called like a curve, and then you can um, then you can move them. But so anyway, so you can't actually move that one for now. But um. Let's say you um you like um wanna make another node over here. You just have to click on the line between two nodes. So if I want to do it down here, I can just click and then I can drag this node wherever I want. So anyway, that's really helpful. And if I just go all the way over here and um just um click on the first control node you started with to close this curve and it's going to um, take a while on my computer at least and then it's going to say down here click or press enter to convert to a selection so um, this is a finished curve right now but it's not a selection so let's say um, if you want to add more nodes you can if you want and you can move control nodes by like um, hovering over it and then moving it so that's nice and once you're done, either hit enter or click inside of um, this curve, and it'll make a selection. So, anyway, if you go, like, um, if I'm just going to get the paintbrush tool just to show you how um, pixelated the edges are and what it selected and what it didn't. Now, this is very pixelated, obviously. You can change that. Um, there's a feathering option for it. You can have anti-aliasing. Um... And also, let me see. Yeah, there's um, one more option, um, but I'm going to show you that in one second. So, anyway, if I zoom in here, it looks very pixelated. So, um, it didn't. It doesn't really show the. Um, I think there's uh, a little bit of the corner showing here, but um, you know, it's otherwise it's very good. I think down here, um, yeah, there's just part of the shadow right there, and maybe a little bit there. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it did a really good job of not even showing anything on, like, the edges. Um, so there, that's what it will do. And, um, one second. Actually, I'm not going to zoom out. I'm just going to go all the way down here and use this as an example. So anyway, if you're using the scissors tool, you might notice that if you, like, zoom in maybe a bit more, um, if you click here, and then let's say, um, you click and then you drag a control node. Um, you can kind of like move your mouse cursor away, um, and it's going to get like really jumpy. Um, so yeah, that's um, like as you can see in the dialog below the mouse cursor, it says Shift um, will disable auto snap. Now this is auto snap right here. It's like automatically snapping um, to areas of high contrast. So if I hit Shift. It's literally just going to drag um, the control node to where my mouse cursor is. So, um, so yeah, so that's nice. And also, um, I think there was one more thing I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, 
that was um, interactive boundary. Now, what that is, if I just get off there, um, if you check it, what it's going to do is, um, let's say I have it off. Now, if I um, click and drag, it's going to be a straight line, but I um, can't see where it's going to select it. So that's um, kind of really annoying. You have to like um, let it go, and then it's going to make the um, curve, and then you can't even move the node. You have to complete the curve, and it's kind of, you know, it might be really annoying. So anyway, if interactive boundary, what that does is when you click and drag, in real time, it's going to show you where it's going to make the curve. So um, that is really nice and very useful. So anyway, I um, yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.